my friend David, who's right over there, just walked up to me and he says that I owe him. And I didn't know what he's talking about. But last year I came out here and I dug my 1835 New York militia buckle. I'll put a picture up right now showing you that. But it's just the round buckle part. It doesn't have the loop on the end and it doesn't have the tongue part. We haven't found that either. And so we searched last year. He's been out here a few times. He's looked for it and he walked up and he says, I owe him and he dropped this in my hand. This is the other part of my buckle. Uh, the round part would go right here. And then there's another side. I'll put the non-dug example of it there to the left. And I'll get my buckle out and I'll make another picture of these two together and kind of show you what it looks like. So I'm really excited about this. This completes my one half of my buckle. Now if we can just find the other side, that'd be really great. You probably already saw in the video where we put this together and showed you the book. But my friend David Glover, who found this uh, cannonball fragment, found this. Now what makes that so special is that that is the loop of an 1845 to 1855 uh, waist belt, uh, belt buckle. And one year ago, I found this part. And I don't know if you can really see it. I know that I, I'm going to put some pictures on the screen and you'll be able to see the uh, uh, non-dug example of that. I may have done that earlier in the video. But I found that last year. David found that this, this year, yesterday. And when we put them together, check this out. Look at that. Perfect fit. We found the matching part. Now we just got to find the wreath part and the other loop that goes over here. And so I thought that was really good and very gracious of David to give that to me. And now I've got the, them back together. And so that is going to be the greatest find. 1845 to 1855. And I believe it's New York Militia. Belt buckle. <laughs>